Sources of information. There are various sources of information that you may use in finding significant details and data that can be used in your daily life. Sources of information may be classified as to primary, secondary and tertiary sources. The context of information presented in a source is helpful in classifying information. Primary sources. Sources of information are classified as primary if they are authentic and have not been subjected to evaluation or assessment. These report discoveries, sharing of information and firsthand. These are information written at a certain time or period of research. Definition of primary sources vary depending on the contexts and or disciplines. Primary sources are immediate, first-hand accounts of a topic, from people who had a direct connection with it. Speech is the expression of or the ability to express thoughts and feelings by articulate sounds. It is also a formal address or discourse delivered to an audience. Video recording is a recording of a film or television program onto videotape. A visual or audiovisual recording on videotape, DVD, etc. Photograph is a picture made using a camera, in which an image is focused onto film or other light-sensitive material and then made visible and permanent by chemical treatment, or stored digitally. Government record. A record required by law to be made and kept, a, a record made by a public officer or a government agency in the course of the performance of a duty, b, a record filed in a public office. Communication is the imparting or exchanging of information or news. It also means sending or receiving information, such as telephone lines or computers. A newspaper is a paper that is printed and distributed usually daily or weekly and that contains news, articles of opinion, features, and advertising. A journal, from the old French journal, meaning daily, may refer to bullet journal, diary, daybook, logbook, transaction log. This means that a person who has personally seen something happen and so can give a first-hand description of it. Secondary sources. Secondary sources provide information, discussion and or interpretation of the evidence. These are usually evaluations of primary sources. These are also in formation written by authors who do not personally witness the event or action. Definition of secondary sources vary depending on the contexts and or disciplines. Secondary sources provide secondhand information and commentary from other researchers. Commentary is an expression of opinions or offering of explanations explanations about an event or situation. Evaluation is the making of a judgment about the amount, number, or value of something, assessment. Critique is a detailed analysis and assessment of something, especially a literary, philosophical, or political theory. History is the whole series of past events connected with someone or something.
Journals are magazines which means a periodical publication containing articles and illustrations, typically covering a particular subject or area of interest, which do not portray information from eyewitness. Tertiary sources. Tertiary sources serve as collection of primary and secondary sources. Tertiary sources are publications that summarize and digest the information in primary and secondary sources to provide background on a topic, idea, or event. They are primary, secondary or tertiary sources, take note of these six, six characteristics that information should have. 1. Accuracy. Information should be reliable, useful, free from flaws and of high quality. Accuracy is the condition or quality of being true, correct, or exact, freedom from error or defect, precision or exactness, or correctness. 2. Completeness. Information should provide all needed details. It should be able to answer the WH questions, what, who, when, where, why and how. Completeness is having all parts or elements, lacking nothing, whole, entire or full. Three, timeliness. Information should be up to date, occurring at a suitable time or well-timed. Four, consistency. Information should be consistent for it to be considered accurate and useful. It is marked by harmony, regularity, or steady continuity, free from variation or contradiction.
5. Relevant. Information should suit the demand, needs and interests of the readers. It is the state of being closely connected or appropriate. Six. Uniqueness. Information should be distinct. The quality of being particularly remarkable, special, or unusual. 